Luke chapter 11, verses 17 to 20. But he, knowing their thoughts, said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself is laid waste, and a divided household falls. And if Satan also is divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? For you say that I cast out demons by Beelzebub. And if I cast out demons by Beelzebub, by whom do your sons cast them out? Therefore, they will be your judges. But if it is by the finger of God that I cast out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. This is the word of God. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power over the demons in the name of Jesus. There is power over our temptations in the name of Jesus. There is power over our sinfulness in the name of Jesus. There is power over death in the name of Jesus. There is power over the enemy in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus came to proclaim the coming of the kingdom of heaven, a kingdom of victory, a kingdom that will stand forever. And in doing so, Jesus also was proclaiming the end of the rule of Satan. Satan has done all that he could But Jesus, he came proclaiming victory over our sinfulness, proclaiming victory over death itself. Yet, many still do not believe. Yet, many still are lost. Yet, many still live under the rule of the enemy. So Jesus explains to us clearly. There are those living under a strong one, our enemy. And there are those living under the strongest one, the almighty one. And unless we are in the kingdom of the almighty God, there is still room for the strong one to rule over us, for the enemy to wreak havoc on our lives continually. Jesus has come to show us the power that is in his name. Will you put your faith in his name? Will you put your life upon this name of Jesus? There is power in the name of Jesus.